everybody welcome to an american homestead so what we're going to do today is give you a quick rundown this is the last video we're going to shoot before or that i shoot before we go ahead and launch into season two of an american homestead i got a lot of great episodes a lot of great content for you i want to kind of give you an update of what's going on we got what we got growing right now for the garden before we start doing updates in the show so um just like last year i got lots of lettuce coming up here i got strawberries coming up here um they have been eating the strawberries like crazy out of they've been coming off here so there's none right there right now the kids ate a bunch of them today this is um a pomegranate tree it's in its uh third year and uh, so it's still kind of small but it's basically um a small tree it's not gonna get very big it's a dwarf uh i got all kinds of stuff growing all kinds of sprouts i got corn coming up i got some spinach over here all of these are going to be okra you can see the okra sprouts coming up uh, i got some pepper plants tomato plants um Let's see, more tomato plants here. Uh, these are pepper plants, some jalapenos. This is cabbage that I let go to seed, and we're getting ready to harvest this seed here shortly. This is about ready to, to take out, and we'll, we'll save that seed for next, next fall uh, for when we plant cabbages again. All of these uh, sprouts coming up are basil. I've got a bunch of beds of basil coming up here. We love pesto, so lots of basil. I have cucumbers. Um, some more corn. Uh, you know, my Venus flytrap survived the winter. There's my Venus flytrap for those of you who are wondering and asking questions about that. It survived. This is also another carnivorous plant. I forgot what the name of it is, but it survived as well. It just went to flower the other day. It's kind of starting to dry up now, but it survived the winter. Let's see over here, more pepper plants. Pepper, peppers, all kinds of different peppers. These are onions we just harvested, and I replanted the starts, uh, the set tops for those. And so these will be coming up, uh, these will be harvested next year. And uh, I have more peppers, peppers, some more onions, some peppers, and another uh, basil bed, and with some mature basil in there. But uh, all basil. So all kinds of stuff going on in here. Let me give you a rundown on the outside. All kinds of onions coming up. Look at all those onions. Just lots of onions, a whole bunch of uh, white onions and a whole bunch of red onions. These are walking onions that uh, were from last year. I'm kind of harvesting the, these as I eat them. Um, over here, I've got all kinds of seedlings for peppers, all kinds of various peppers coming up. So uh, seedlings here for pepper plants. Seedlings on the outside are pepperoncini pepper plants. Um, on the edge over there, I have some ghost pepper, pepper seedlings. Uh, these are all tomato seedlings that are in the ground. They're starting to come up uh, pretty well. These are all bush beans. These are all peas. Uh, some more tomatoes. These are um, a different variety I got in town from a farmer's market. And I have a whole bunch of cabbages coming up over here. And um, let's see, over here we've got a uh, potato. That's a potato bed, that's a potato bed, and that's a potato bed. So potatoes are doing excellent. We're using neem oil along with Dr. Bronner's organic sal sud soap uh, to treat those for the beetle, uh, the potato beetles. So the potato beetles are staying away uh, from, our from our potato plants. Uh, they're growing uh, vigorously, going, doing really well. Over here, I have Jerusalem artichokes in that bed. They're coming up really well. And then behind that, I have a whole bunch of uh, sunflower seeds, uh, sunflowers. Uh, let's see, on the arbor that you remember probably from last year, this is a bunch of, all, all around here are different sprouts uh, for um, achicha cucumbers. Uh, over here, this is our first year of doing a bunch of thornless blackberries, a whole row. These are all thornless blackberry plants scattered along here, and we're going to basically let these grow up and then train them up over some fencing uh, that we're going to, some cattle panels that we're going to put up and stake up, and these will grow over the next couple years. We won't really get a, a good harvest on these until probably the second year for sure. I mean, there's some blackberries on them already, but uh, we won't get a real good harvest on these until next year. Uh, over here, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see what we got. I got some squash plants over here scattered out. Some squash plants there. They're scattered out throughout this whole area here. And over here, this is the strawberry bed. I redid the whole strawberry patch this year. Uh, these are all basically first year plants again. We'll, we'll get these going again. We're gonna keep them weeded. And next year we'll have a, get, a, a very good abundance. We've been eating these like crazy. They're already coming in, you can see one there. But uh, we've been eating these like crazy, the ones they are producing. But next year will be the, the abundant year for the strawberry patch. This is a peach tree. And look at here, we got some corn. Ah, look at that corn coming up. 
So that's all corn. This is the black Incan corn that you can get from uh, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. We ordered that. We planted about 120 plants. And over here, this is cucumbers. We're going to trellis these up. We're going to grow our cucumbers on a trellis this year uh, between these two stakes, and there's the wire for it. Um, when they get a little bit higher, we'll go ahead and put that wire up, and they'll be staked here. So there is the garden, basically, for right now. Doing very, very well. Greenhouse is doing excellent. And we're going to have a lot to show you, a lot of updates for the garden coming up in the weeks and months ahead. So... Just want to give you a final update. Things are going really, really good on the homestead. We're having a lot of uh, great luck with planting right now. We're, we're just about finishing up the, the main spring planting. And uh, these here, if you don't remember, these are two plum trees. I pruned these back very heavily this winter. And we're, I can already tell there's going to be an abundance of plums on these two trees. So we'll see what we can get from that. Uh, we, our first year here, we, we basically uh, canned a bunch of plums. And they were just delicious. There again, these are the Jerusalem artichokes. Um, we're going to expand this bed uh, next year. Every year we're going to expand this. We're going to take uproot all of these Jerusalem artichokes and fill the bed. And eventually I think what we're going to do is plant an entire field uh, full of Jerusalem artichokes and year after year harvest those Jerusalem artichokes for uh, fuel production in our uh, copper still that we got from clawhammersupply.com, who is one of our advertisers on anamericanhomestead.com. So, um... There's some more sunflower seeds, sunflowers, sunflowers. Those are all sunflowers right there. And then there's the potatoes. Potatoes are just doing great. Can't wait to see what we what we get this year from those. So anyway, next stop, season two of An American Homestead. I uh, hope you all tuned in uh, last season. If you haven't, you can go to our website, anamericanhomestead.com, watch the videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can catch us on Roku. We're on Roku, and uh, those episodes, I believe, will be also, again, uploaded to the Roku channel, the Homestead channel on Roku. I don't run that channel. Somebody else does. Uh, and I've you know, given her permission to take those videos that we have and upload them to her homestead channel. And there's a lot of other uh, pretty interesting homesteads that are featured on that channel. I would encourage you to check them out. So anyway, that is the last update before season two. We'll see you next time on an American Homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. Visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.